Alright guys, Touch Grover here, back again today. I hope you enjoyed yesterday's recap of day one of the CDL action. We're here again, five and a half hours sleep, but it has to be done just before work, because we've got to talk about this OGLA Twitter meltdown really that happened yesterday. This was a topic I thought that was going to be pretty big, but considering everything that went down on day one of the CDL champs, not exactly a big deal. Today they're going to talk about a number of tweets that Slash here as well. Kenny to some degree, but also TJ did, but also the OGLA brand before the day even kicked off the kind of stuff that they were tweeting, then deleting as a result of this, with some pretty big community back clash. Intrigued to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. Like if you guys enjoy the video, subscribe if you are new as always. Let's crack on with it then. So up to gaming kind of trying to embrace this like villain branding I suppose they've tried to create themselves over the season. Not necessarily intentionally. Nowadays they're kind of embracing it. Lovers or haters we are coming for it all. And then uh, well okay then we get this. They tweet out this video which has since been deleted and I'll play this video for you guys on screen right now hopefully you know the music is copyrighted or anything like that but effectively they've taken the mick out of the CDL. They talk about some of the issues that that have happened with the CDL so far this season and to be honest it's kind of entertaining however if you're a professional league team in the CDL this is probably not something you want to be doing I would imagine especially the way they try and spin it at the end about how like they actually are very respectful for the CDL everything as they say in this reply tweet in all seriousness you either go one way or you go the other because um well it doesn't look great on the organization I think once again they, they did get a lot of backlash for this definitely intrigued to hear your thoughts in the comments explain I'll play it on screen in a world where competition is everything Thing, where milliseconds can change your fate and a split decision can make you a hero. There is one organization that seeks to break the dreams of all those in its path. From the issues with ping to the spawns on the map, and then awakening spawns at sea, this means a neutralization. CDL makes sure they're always going to be in the lead. And if they aren't, well, they'll decide which team should be in the lead. There's like another thing. The point lead change to London. Zero finally will fall. Some may say they are the villain, others the hero. Then he needs in Chicago. They continue to hold. Spawns are here oh and my. A quick little three piece for the folks at home. But here at Optic, we just want to know what the f is going on back there. For real though, CDL made 2020 feel a little bit more normal. Now it's game day. Let's play some COD. We're Optic Gaming and we approve this message. So they tweet this out, then they come out with, in all seriousness, thank you to the COD League for everything they've done this season. We're grateful for all teams were able to continue the season through these crazy times. I mean, like, a bit contradictory to what you're trying to say in the video that the CDL's, like, ruined your season or whatever. So I don't think that was the best start. Then they came out with this, that it's been a lot of fun talking smack and stirring the pot over the past month. We've shown a few of the videos that they've done with other organizations and stuff. Clearly, the last video in our satirical series went a bit too far and was interpreted as being serious when it was meant to be a joke. I mean, like, it's obviously a joke, right? But I mean, like, come on, I don't know. I don't know if you want to go that far, to be honest. In all seriousness, Cod League helped make 2020 feel more normal, and all the matches, events, and all the content for the teams has made the best of an unprecedented situation for all of us. Looking forward to a great playoffs, a great champs, and a great end to a great season. So this is what they try and come out with. However, a lot of organizations aren't getting away without uh, getting a dig at an opt to gaming right here. So mutineers tweet this without CDL coming to collect the fine like this uh, Stephen A. Smith one, which is pretty funny. What's up, y'all? <laughs> you know what time it is. It's about to be that time. And then we get a lot, a lot of people saying similar things, right? So we get this from Hitch. Your dead ass made infinitely good. At least that train wreck wasn't public. Um, that get this from Aaron Crate. Like, say it with me now. Shut up. Like, unbelievable stuff, to be honest. So, yeah, definitely people not happy with this one. I mean, Bryce even comes out. What on earth is this BS on the day of the biggest tourney of the year? What kind of simple-minded idiocy is this from the franchise? Someone needs to be fired. And, uh, yeah, I mean, Mudog uh, definitely came up with some responses saying, okay, maybe we kind of towed the line. A, bit, a little bit too far on one side or the other on this one. E United then came out with this, like social media engagement isn't given or is it kind of doing a, a satirical post of what OGLA tried to make a satirical post and uh, well, just, just giving them an L or whatever. I think there was an L on the screen that came in at one point. I don't know, pretty funny. So then of course with OGLA getting absolutely battered on Twitter earlier in the day, the league then starts. We get Paris versus Seattle Surge. We then get OGLA versus the Los Angeles Grillers that we talked about in length in yesterday's video. And of course, game one, at game four, Kenny lags out the game, is supposedly DDoS out of the game, and well, Austin slash a litter coach, not particularly happy with it, as with a lot of the other players, of course, for good reason. So slash a tweet that you literally cannot make this up. These are just another of the tweets that continued kind of the OGLA meltdown that we had yesterday. I really wish us as players would stand up and not allow these types of things to happen. It's absolutely pathetic. It benefits others, and therefore people are not like standing up for it. And 
all pro players. How much cheating, booting people offline game BS needs to happen before we take a stand? This is ridiculous. Then, uh, you know, he comes out with like sickening. So disappointed in all of you for not like responding to this. Um, you know, GG's LAG won 3-0. Basically, well, basically 3 0 them. The CDL lost 0-2 in confidence, lol. Appreciate Dashi coming in. This is an absolute joke. And uh, well, this year has mentally broken me. Gotta get my head back in the game to play Minnesota or New York in two days time. Appreciate the support. They'll be playing on Friday against one of those two teams, whoever wins in tonight's matches. Um, you know, we then get this as well. So Jacob tweets this out. Slasher didn't even give me a reason to tweet this, his name. Guy sucks. And so, uh, well, a couple of tweets that we'll put on screen here for you guys. So yeah, this was, uh, well, the tweet's not available. This is what he was actually tweeting. So you can see this tweet here. And you know, you're a loser for this, whether it's a troll or not. Actually, pissed me off yeah he ended up deleting these and so uh, well as he says in reply i don't know i just lost it for a second thanks to for fm for pointing this out to me and then it wasn't just slasher of course we've got tj chiming in as well absolute morons who run this league not yet deleted actually a number of these tweets so i'll have to see how that develops over the next few hours here i'm pretty oh, i'm pretty early by time maybe they'll delete them with it where these guys later wake up a little bit later today but it kind of came full circle in a way right we start off the day with optigami making this uh, jab at the cdl and some people would even say that the 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 fact that they made the jab at the CDL, maybe one of the CDL guys was DDoS and Kenny, right? And they, you know, taking their revenge in that way rather than coming for the fine. I don't know. Obviously, that's like not the case, but I just thought that was pretty funny to think about the way the start of the day happens, the way the end of the day happens. And then, of course, we get this. So OGLA tweet out, uh, you know, the, the Batman thing, like they're getting Batman in for the for the game five. They're getting Bruce in, of course. And then he ends up coming up clutch, gets that three piece in the in the round 10 as well, wins them the game right at the end. Not just the only factor there, but but obviously a uh, yeah, huge factor in winning them that, uh, well, $100,000 wager that we talked about not too many hours ago. So pretty funny, really, how it came from them getting absolutely destroyed at the start of the day on Twitter. And at the end of the day, everyone was loving OGLA because for good reason, they were in a very difficult position put in by this Kenny situation in that game series against, so uh, well, in that, you know, game five, game one, game four against the Los Angeles Grillers. They deserve that victory, right? And the fact that they got it kind of, kind of felt like, um, yeah, it kind of felt good for the community, to be honest, even though the way the, the day started was a great for OGLA. So exciting stuff to be honest. Good to keep your eyes on it going forward. And then we get this, of course. So these are tonight's games. Thursday, the 20th of August. Royal Ravens versus the Ultra starting once again at 12 p.m. at Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. at my time here at British Summertime. And then New York Sublanders versus the Minnesota Rocker as well, just to follow that one. So I think that this first series could be an absolute barn burner. Expecting a game five. The second one, I think the Sublanders will be too strong. You know, this may be a pretty comfortable series. We will have to see if this new rocker with exceed gets the job done hope you guys enjoyed the video like if you did subscribe if you are new as always i would greatly appreciate it and i will see you next time in a world where your brand is everything where milliseconds can change your fate one properly crafted meme can make you a hero there's one organization that stands apart from the rest. Come on, guys. What are we doing here? There's no way this was actually tweeted. Think before you hit the tweet button. Do better. Just because we're gone doesn't mean you're safe from a good old United roast. Let's go, Huntsman. Let's go, FaZe. Let's go, Empire. Most importantly, stand united.